Going for deep half. I'm trying to sweep him and get on top. Okay. I try to scoot the leg. Mm -hmm. Extend it. And then come back up. You you could you could do that, but show me how you go into deep half. Because you're entering the deep half needs adjustment. Usually they're attacking, I get half guard. Here, I dive under. Yes. And attach myself here and grab the yes. belt. Yes, now swing your legs up and out. Like both together. Don't 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 separate them. Yes. Luke, put your left knee down. Because he's gotta get into the right position to be in deep half. Are you trying to scoop the leg or just pinch him? Well, what I wanna do is I wanna be flat and I wanna keep moving him left and right so that I can begin to test his balance and see which way I'm gonna be able to take him. Yeah, if you go that way. Yeah, now pull and come up. Yeah. Show me again. Point your heads this way. Set the center yourself. Good? Yeah, uh, it's good towards the logo. Towards the logo, yeah. It's Show me deep half. See how he's tilting to the right? Now come up. Yeah, clear that leg and come up. Okay. All right, so for deep half, very important that you do this. Deep half usually go into from half guard or like a knee shield, okay? But what I need to do is I need to shoot this and go here so that I can pull him up on here and lift my legs up. Now look, you see how he's not exactly receiving the deep half very well. If he loses his balance, you're going to pass. You're going up further on his back and coming up. Well, he's getting so unbalanced that he's just falling over. So the person that is getting put into deep half, typically their knee goes down because this leg comes up and you're not going to just topple over here. No, you're here, okay? We're going to Yes, right here. This is the deep half that you want, okay? I would say from here, one of the most guaranteed sweeps that you can do if you fail to tuck this hand, because I need to tuck this hand here so he doesn't exploit it with his own underhook, with this hand under, and begin to stop me or straight arm lock me, so I need to hide this hand, okay? So as I get into deep half, I hide it, tuck that elbow at least, and a bare minimum, I can go here. If I go under, I can now reach up here and begin to swing him out. Because here, I can begin to potentially hook that leg, okay? But I don't want to get like a lockdown here. But one thing that is very effective, if you fail to hide your hand underneath and he's just real low here, okay? I'm going to gable grip his thigh and I'm going to pull him down so that his knee goes to the mat. Usually from here, the second their knee goes to the mat, they try to lift it off the mat. And you're ready to sweep in the opposite way by torquing his thigh. With the gable grip. And you can almost submit him there because the pressure is quite a uh, intense goal. That's good. So look, so we're here for deep half. I, I, most of the time, I gotta get an underhook, but at bare minimum, even if you don't get that underhook, your arm is stuck out here. And you can lift him up. And usually, I'll be facing this way. Because the things that happen is that he begins to now push that knee down to try to free this leg. If he frees this leg outside of my leg, whichever way he does it, you know, I already have to come out that back door okay, and shoot him up over my head or grab here but I keep the foot put the foot back in here okay and I'm here right so now from here I have a deep half and I keep testing his base this so look gable grip right here and I go here and now I'm gonna try to get his knee to the mat right here okay if I feel he doesn't pull back, because the second you do this, they lift the knee. And you go into an over-under pass. 
If he doesn't lift his knee, you go out the back door. And you keep rolling him to the stump. So here. For a deep tap, you gotta get, get one. Look, if he if he just sits here and doesn't come up, okay. You begin already to turn him over, and it's your you know responsibility to get to the top. So for this particular deep half, I'm gonna try this. Knee shield. Shoot that underhook and swing your legs out right here. Clamp your hands and right here. How's that feel, Luke? It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Okay. Look. That's, yeah, unpleasant. Look. Yeah. So here, I don't want to straighten my legs out because I don't want to let him pull this out. So as I'm here, I'm going to pull him to my left. As his knee goes down, usually they try to pick that knee up. You see what I did here? I didn't roll. I moved my hips. One more time. This one. Rotate this one. Good. So here, look. Around the thigh. I'm gonna bend him this way here. And as he comes up, watch me scoot my hips. Sometimes you get out ahead of his legs. Sometimes you get out for an over under. But what I did was I went from here. I didn't do this rolling. I did this and then I went so that now as he's falling, I come up. Cable grip, pull that thigh to where you're just locking up his thigh. Ready? One, two, three. 